In this video, we're talking about continuity, and it might look like from the question prompt here that we're going to be doing a domain problem. But a domain problem is actually a continuity problem, because the domain of a function are all of the values of x for which the function is defined, and the function is defined everywhere where it's continuous. So when we're asked to find the domain of a function, we're actually being asked to say where the function is continuous. Now, to say where this function in particular is continuous, we're going to have to address two things in particular. First of all, we've got a fraction here inside of our square root. And we know that a fraction is undefined wherever the denominator is equal to 0, because we can't divide by 0. So if we take the denominator, x minus 1, and we set that equal to 0 and we solve for x, we'll add 1 to both sides and we'll get x is equal to positive 1. So we've solved for x and what this tells us is that this particular function f of x is undefined whenever x is equal to 1, because if x is 1, then here in the denominator we get 1 minus 1 or 0, and we can't have 0 in the denominator. So the domain of this function, if we want to define the domain or describe it, we would say x cannot be equal to positive 1 because that makes the denominator 0. We also have this square root to deal with and it's actually a third root because here we're taking the third root of this fraction. So normally we can't have a negative number inside of a square root sign because we can't take the square root of a negative number. But in this case, because we have the third root, we can have a negative number inside of the square root. Because if you imagine, if we're taking the third root of negative 1, we're just interested in the value that when we multiply it by itself three times, gives us negative 1. And of course, that would be negative 1. Because if we multiply negative 1 by itself three times, negative 1 times negative 1 is a positive 1, times negative 1 again is a negative 1, this value inside of our square root. In the same way, we could take the third root of negative 8, that would be equal to negative 2, because negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 gives us negative 8. So we can take the third root of a negative number, even though we can't take the square root of a negative number. So because of that, there's no restriction on this value inside of the square root sign. This fraction can turn out to be positive or negative as a whole. It doesn't matter because we'll be able to take the third root of a positive or negative number. So therefore, the domain of the function f of x is all real numbers except x equal to 1. So all we say is x not equal to positive 1 in order to describe the domain. So then if we want to translate the domain into continuity, what we can say is that the function f of x is continuous everywhere except at x equals 1, because a function is always continuous wherever it's defined. Therefore, the function is continuous everywhere except x equal to 1. And we can confirm that if we want to by graphing the function. So this is the graph of the function here, the graph of f of x. And we can see that we have a continuous function everywhere except at x equals 1. Here at x equals 1, you can see that we have a vertical asymptote. And therefore, there's a discontinuity here in the function. The function is not continuous at this value x equals 1. But everywhere else, we have a continuous function. And therefore, we can call this function continuous everywhere except that x equals 1.